I want to see as much underneath that I do on top. I really don't care if it doesn't get any taller than six inches tall all the way along because I got roots going down. And like you said, that builds your soil structure. We had to wait a little bit longer to dry out, but I never had to pull my tractor out of the mud. I had neighbors that were out working ground, pulling each other out on a daily basis. I never once got even close to being stuck in one of my fields because I had good soil structure. And it just, I won't say it held the tractor up, but I didn't sink in. And my neighbors on a daily basis were unhooking with a 50 foot cable and pulling their field cultivator out and then 10 minutes later going over and hooking onto their planter tractor and pulling it out. Um, a lot of this, um, people are, see this up here and think this is all your organic matter. It is organic matter, but the more benefit is when you take your shovel out, dig down and see all your roots. Because those roots aren't going anywhere. They're gonna stay there, they're gonna decay, and then your corn or soybean roots are gonna follow them right down uh, come summertime when we didn't have any rain for two months. On our farm, we're trying to do things that we think are the right way. And maybe not the perfect way, but we're trying to do our best. And I got a boy that started kindergarten this year, and my goal is when I hand it off to him, it's going to be better than how I picked it up. And it's not in bad shape right now, but I'm doing my part to try to make it better. So that's our goal. We don't put a lot of high rates of fertilizer on. We inject everything in the ground for fertilizer. We side dress all of our nitrogen. Um, just trying. The great thing about cover crops is the reason I'm doing cover crops might not be the reason you or you or you are doing cover crops. Um, the easiest answer on that would be to control wind and water erosion. But the nutrient recycling part of it is also very big. And on our farm, it's just overall soil health. That'd be probably the one key thing is soil health. If I can get the best out of my soil and keep all my nutrients available to my crop, I'm saving money on inputs. And, if I, and we're not making any more soil. And I call it soil on my farm. I don't call it dirt. Dirt might be what's in my waterway that I gotta dig out, but I call it soil. Because when you take a, and I didn't bring my shovel today, I apologize, but I like to dig. And you dig up that soil and flip it over, and you can't find at least a few earthworms in a shovel full, you're doing something wrong. Because they're there for a reason.